What's going on everyone, it's Cameron here, and today I'm going to be breaking down the brand new trailer we have for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And for those of you guys that don't know what this is, it's the next Call of Duty game, and it's really, really cool looking, so without further ado, let's get right in and break this down. Now, the first thing comes at no surprise, but it did disappoint a few people, and that is this game is, again, Microsoft biased, so Microsoft console is going to get it like one month in advance for the DLCs and whatnot. Next, we have this guy in the exoskeleton type suit. Really cool looking thing, advanced armor, more than likely it's due to the fact that there's stronger guns and whatnot going on at the period. Nothing too surprising, but that is kind of the main focus of the game. Then we have these Ops Free Gunners, we saw them in MW3, and you guys can see, they're carrying these tank-like things, and I'll get into those later on. And while we're in these Ops Free things, there's something cool about them, and you'll see this in a second. Yes, they can go invisible, they have cloaking, so that's really sick. And this whole cloaking thing is no surprise, you guys can see, it's going to be... Kind of a main theme in this later on. I think this game takes on in around 2040 to 2050, like 10, 15 years after COD Black Ops 2. You guys can just see the guy cloak right there. And here there's a grenade that seems like it's going to counter the whole cloaking. It's kind of a heat ray type thing. Maybe you can get out with like cold blooded and you pretty much are just able to see enemies. They light up as you guys can see. So I do think this is going to be overpowered if it is in multiplayer, but hopefully they do dumb it down if they do implement it. Next up we have this Titan looking dude. Now, there's not much you could say, this guy's just generally badass. He's a little turret chain gun that comes out like that. And he reminds me a lot of the Titans in Titanfall. Looking at this, I do think this guy might be a killstreak in multiplayer. Maybe the new Juggernaut, that's what I think. He has a little chain gun, it can work as the minigun that was in MW3 and whatnot. And I do think this guy is going to actually be implemented somehow into multiplayer. I don't know how, if it's a killstreak or something else, but we'll figure that out. Next up, you have these cool little parkour, super sticky, like, frog gloves that you can, like, think that you'd see like the superhero like Spider-Man using or something. These are really interesting. I don't think these are going to be in multiplayer, but there might be a perk or something where you can get into a second story building by somehow doing this. We're just going to have to wait and see, but this is really similar to Titanfall in many aspects. Now we have the hover bikes. They're kind of like ATV, not really ATV, like just motorcycles that are just hovering. Nothing too general about that. Futuristic, I that's why I think it's like 2040, 2050. Next up we have this thing that I do think is in multiplayer. It's a giant shield, and I can see this being the new ride shield that you can stand behind. You just place it down. It's really long, not that high, obviously. If you're squatting, you're still looking over it, and you're not protected to all sides, so it's kind of cool about that. Then we have our main enemy right here, Kevin Spacey. Nothing too special about him, but I'm going to get into a theory I have in the next video. And then here we have something similar to Tinefold. Rockets on our boots. It's like a jet pack, but on your boots. So it's pretty cool. We've seen this in a few games at the moment. Next up, we have some futuristic things. This is the tank thing that those Ops three gunners were carrying. It's really interesting to see how it's going to be implemented, whether it's going to be automated or user-controlled. You guys can see it's kind of moving around, mounting itself on like a quad pod. You just saw an Ops three dropping it off. I think it's nice and futuristic. And talking about futuristic, we have rail guns. These things aren't even in use yet, and there's two of them. I think each shot I read costs like 25 grand, so that's like 50 grand in the matter of a second. Really cool to see that one coming. And there's really nothing other in the trailer that I wanted to point out specifically. But we do have the release date, and that it is November 4th, 2014. A few days earlier than usual, we usually get it around the second week of November, it's times the first week. So I'm pretty excited, I can't wait for it to come out. And if you guys are interested in my theory on what this whole storyline is about, stay tuned, it will be in my next video on this subject. This was Cameron, and as always guys, until next time, peace out.